All right, this is going to be a shorter video that basically just shows the behaviors and the actions that uh, borders actually have. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do this in Python shell again. And first thing we're going to want to do is to import the CS1 graphics library so that we can work with it. And we, first, let's go ahead and make a canvas. It doesn't have to be anything bigger than the uh, default of 200-200. And I'll go ahead and pull that up. Okay, and the next thing we're going to want to do is just so we have a, uh, just so that we can actually have some kind of differential, we can actually see the difference. I'm going to go ahead and set the background color to yellow. And uh, if you didn't see how I just did that, I, all I did was wait for it to pop up, but it's just set background color and then yellow. Okay. And then we are going to we need to name something. We're we're gonna have to name a circle. So I'm just gonna name it C. And I'm going to create a circle with a radius of 60. And I want to set its fill color to blue. And then I also want to go ahead and move it to the center of the screen. That way we will have the full view of what the border is doing. Okay, and now I need to add my circle. Okay, now notice the really small black border that's around this blue. Now I probably should have used a different color, but anyway, it always automatically creates a border of one pixel wide, and it's always black. Well, let's say we want to change this to 10 pixels wide. To do this, we would do the name of our we would do the name of our circle, which is C dot set border width. And then what would we want to set it to? Well, let's set it to 10 pixels. See how it got bigger. And you can really get out of control with it. I mean, there really is no limit to what you can do. You can do 100. Now, you can also, and well, let me go ahead and set. Let me go ahead and set this back down to 10 so it's not out of control anymore. But there's many different things you can do with this. And uh, basically, the next thing would be if you want to set the border color to something different, such as, uh, let's say, red. All you'd have to do is set border color and then tell it what color. And you can do red. And as you can see, it changed the border from black to red. Now, what if you want something like a sun? Let's say we want to make a sun, and we don't... I know it's blue with a yellow background, but let's say we want a sun, and we don't want that black border around it. Well, another thing you can do is actually to have no border at all. And you can do this by still doing set border color, but we actually want to set the color to transparent. And by doing that, it has transparent color, or in that case, no color. And as you can see, it completely disappears. Now, because of some computers, it might actually look like there's still a black line there, but I promise you there's not, because right now the border width is actually still set at 10. So if we were to actually change the border color back to black, we would see it again. And then, of course, you can always set your border width back down to 1 if you'd like. And then see you still have it there. But that is base that's the basics of what you can do with border color and border width in CS1 graphics.